Welcome to the show. Recently, history was made when Sally Azar became the first ever female pastor in the Holy Land. She's joining us from Jerusalem. And first of all, congratulations. And tell us the experience of being ordained here in the Holy Land, Sally. That is true. Um, the church certainly did make history. And uh, I'm glad that I was um, um, I was allowed to, or let's say allowed, like I was able to uh, be ordained. So it was a beautiful service. And um, it was uh, very uh, touching and moving to see this big support from my church members, church congregations, pastors, and bishops. You yourself are, are an Arab-Israeli Christian from Jerusalem. What kind of reaction and support did you get for being the first woman to step up and take this leadership role in the church? I mean, everyone was super proud, and they were like, it was about time that that happened. I mean, we've been fighting for uh, women's rights for a while, and I think in the, every society, a lot of women are facing a lot of issues, and that's why it's still very important that we uh, say that we are, we are equal as much as... Um, it is um, in society and everywhere else, not only in religion, but um, <clears throat> yeah, in every single work, I think uh, it's, uh, this next step needs to be done that women can also take the lead. We, of course, see female pastors around the world, but why do you think it took so long to uh, happen here where Christianity began, here in the Holy Land? I mean, uh, the, the decision has been made like 17 years ago in our church that uh, this should be done because uh, also of uh, like for, there is like there should be no um, no reason that we could say uh, that's why it's allowed. But it is something that should be something very natural to things. You know what I mean? So it's like um, it is very much um, a step that had to be done. I mean. We were prepared, like, it's also, I mean, sure, it took a while because we are living here in a patriarchal society um, in a way that I never thought of um, of me or any other woman not being able to be a pastor here in the Holy Land. But I knew that it was going to be difficult um, because of our, um, of the many, many uh, objections and the very, because the Holy Land and so on, it's all very uh, close to um to uh, to the places where Jesus was and everything. And that, that makes even more sense because Jesus was not only with uh, men disciples, but he had also, also women disciples. And so, if, of course, it is possible. And um, we're glad that it is now here um, with this thought that we can continue working on it. Um, I mean, everyone was doing a lot of workshops. We were doing a lot, of, a lot for gender justice. And uh, that includes this. Also, women leaders are blossoming here in the Holy Land, both Christian and Jewish. Do you feel a sense of female empowerment? Yeah, I mean, living in a Jewish Israeli state and um, and also having like being a Christian here in the Holy Land in Jerusalem is uh, giving us a new idea, let's say, or giving us also um, and showing the world, like, because in the religion, in all the religions, it's something that the women are fighting for. So even in Judaism, uh, women are fighting for their rights in, uh, in, their, uh, in the synagogue and stuff. And I know that there are some rabbinesses um, around, um, around the world. And I think here also in Jerusalem, there are some rabbinesses. So it's um, nice to see that we also, as women, are together and um, we all are facing the same issues as women here in the society. I also know it wasn't easy uh, for you to get to where you are. Do you still feel there is uh, quite a bit of pushback from the male religious leadership towards women becoming pastors here? I mean, um, that's. I think it's natural to have people who are against it. And I think, I like everywhere around the world, having the Orthodox and Catholic being um, not supporting it, I respect it. I'm not here to change their minds. Maybe it will come later on, but I hope that this would be something that the women would strive for because this should come from the women in order to reach to that level. Until now, it's uh, being uh, suppressed, let's say, so that it is not possible um, for the women to become um, to become pastors. And um, at the same time, uh, we're um, there. Like it's. Um, it's not something that uh, stops our church from saying that women should be or should become 
uh, pastors. And yes, the Israelis, uh, not the Israelis, but yes, the Orthodox and the Catholics, but I think everywhere around the world, even, um, um, yeah, internationally, it's still a struggle, um, let's say, but let, uh, we hope that uh, our ecumenical relations between the churches here don't, um, don't collapse because of that. Also, Sally, what is your message to women out there who are fighting for the chance to follow uh, their passion? Uh, my message is to never stop believing in yourself and always stand up for your rights and um, to always take the first step, even if it's going to be difficult. So uh, wherever you are and whatever religion you have, we're all together. We're all women and we're all fighting for the same thing. And um, yeah, so thank you.